Hello, today I would like to present you something that I deeply believe is one of the biggest battery operated boombox. So if you've got feeling that today's kids who are playing music from their smartphones are annoying, that you should know that back then it could be much worse because we've got a uh, four massive speakers, we've got a lot of power and you could blast your music for a whole street by using that device after putting it on your shoulder with using just batteries. It is absolutely, absolutely amazing device. If you've got feeling, is this a real portable device? Then you take a look at this carrying handle and it's going to be answering your question. It was meant to be used in field. It was made by a company called Hitachi and the model is 3D80. If you take a look at the top it is pretty intimidating but if you divide it into section everything is going to be much easier to understand. We've got a double deck design so you could put two tapes into that machine and you could play back any of those. But that deck also contain a record head, so most likely you can create your own mixtape or clone tape. So this is absolutely beautiful. You've got a tape counter. Everything here is just regarding your AM FM radio, and we've got a long wave, medium, short wave, and FM that is actually standard. So you've got absolutely no problem in using it as a regular radio nowadays. You've got your tuning knob, we've got a microphone and we've got our selector for the mode of the emission. Then here you've got your equalizer that is allowing you to bust the bass or treble depending on your preference. We've got the volume control. Here is your main selector for the function. So we've got the line input so you can use it as a amplifier, we've got radio, tape and the dubbing. We can select between mono and stereo and type of tape and just take a look how beefy it is. It is absolutely not making any sense to make that switch so beefy, but here we've got everything need to be massive. And here we've got something that is actually interesting and what is actually working fine. It's got like a virtual 3D effect and when you engage it, it is sounding much better and it's using all of those four speakers and creating like a little bit of 3D effect and it's working surprisingly well even if nowadays standard. When I'm playing music through it with the 3D mode, it sounds great, it's like shaping that sound, so you've got a feeling that something is going on and it is really working. Of course, we've got a lot of different bar indicators created out of those diodes that are making great visual effect. Here is back of our device, as you can see we've got our CD line input and here is our battery tray door and just take a look how many batteries it's going to be eating. It is absolutely crazy. Here you've got a schematic and those are the beefy batteries. You need eight of those. So it's going to be operated from 12 volts. Absolutely, absolutely crazy. We've got selector between a power, AC and battery. And here you've got the model number. I hope you can nicely and clearly see it. I will try play out something just for test, but because of the legal issues I have to use my FM transmitter and use something that is not copyright. So let me give a second. I tune up and the music is playing as you can see on those indicators and we can crank up our volume.
and in my personal opinion it sound really great it sound absolutely beautiful sadly you most likely cannot hear any difference between the 3d and surround and that's because i'm recording with a single microphone but in person it is sounding really great and it's making that difference so thank you very much for watching i hope you find that interesting see you next time and bye bye